Hey there, it's Jen, and I am here to share with you a page all about fussy cutting. So that's what we're focusing on the Pink Paisley blog this week. And I love fussy cutting, mostly flowers, but today, since I already fussy cut some flowers uh, with this new Pick Me Up collection, I thought today I would cut out some frames. So this, um, this particular sheet of paper comes in the 12 by 12 paper pack, which has, or the 12 by 12, um, paper pad which has gold foil accents throughout it so the paper that's in the regular kit has colored frames in the regular on the regular paper but the one in the pad has these gold gilded frames so I'm going to use that and I'm going to fussy cut these frames out and then I have these photos of I just went on a cruise and these all look like empty water probably but if you look closely there's a tiny dolphin right there and right there um we were just, um, we hadn't even taken, like we hadn't even gone out of the port yet um, in Fort Fort Lauderdale. No, it wasn't Fort Lauderdale. Port Canaveral. Anyway, um, and we saw these dolphins swimming around. So I, we were trying to take a million pictures and we couldn't get them. They kept, like every time they'd come up, they would go down before we could get a picture. So this is going to be kind of like a funny little, I promise there's a dolphin there thing. And I'm going to try to point out the dolphins. So since these frames are small and since these, you know, the pictures are small, you can't, I think it works out well for that. So, and then I'm also planning on backing some of the frames with the two by two paper pads. And then whatever, if there's a longer frame, I'm just gonna use the six by six paper pad. So with that in mind, I'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so here I am cutting out the frames. I'm not gonna make you watch me cut them all out, but I'm using a pair of micro tip scissors from close to my heart. And I think that for me, at least for fussy cutting, I really like to have a nice sharp, small pair of scissors. So then I'm going to, I thought about the frames and I'm going to cut the centers out, but not right now. And I'm going to do some mixed media on the background because I feel like every time I do sort of a watery page or something, uh, I want to like do the smushing technique on the back. I like to, it just, it lends to the feel of the photos, I guess. So I'm just using a few different inks. Um, the one I'm using right now is a Mr. Huey's ink from Studio Calico that's been discontinued. I think I'm using Bazinga. And then I'm also going to use this, uh, this spray from Lindy, no, from Shimmers. <laughs> and I can't remember the name of it, but I'll link to it in the video description. I usually link to all available products in the video description. So I'm just trying to decide if that's enough. And I always feel like mixed media looks crazy when I do it, but then, uh, in the end it looks great. So I'm also smushing on some Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine. I haven't done this for a long time, but it's one of my favorite ways to use the color shine is to use it with the smushing technique because it just spreads out and it's a little sparkly and it's really pretty. So here I am cutting out the centers of the frames and I just poked a hole with the tip of my scissors because they're really sharp and it made it really easy. So I didn't cut through all of the frames because I was thinking with the larger frames I could use them for my title and journaling those two long ones that I didn't put anything on so here I'm just kind of piecing things together trying to decide how everything will work together and I really like the way that this uh, style ended up looking and uh, so it looks more like a configuration that you would put on a wall or something rather than a whole page full of frames so I like that I was able to switch things up that way so what I'm doing now is I'm taking the photos and I'm just placing them behind the frame and I'm sorry you can't see me cutting these but I am just uh, cutting around with my scissors so that it fits behind the frame and you can also glue them to the photos or or the papers that you do first and then cut around it but um, here I was being a little bit lazy and I think it's easy with these square shapes to just cut them like that so now I'm looking through this little two by two paper stack this is the phrases one and I'm trying to see if there's anything that might work I really like that Bon Voyage and I'm thinking about the one with the camera as well I think the Bon Voyage fits great in the top one so I'm gonna put that there and then I as I thought about this camera, I didn't want to use the whole card. I just wanted to use the camera. So I fussy cut it out of the two by two paper. And I find that if in any like pattern paper or embellishment, you can fussy cut things out to make new embellishments. So that's another thing I love to do. So now I'm just looking through the patterns, trying to decide what might work here. Originally, I thought I was going to go monochromatic with this layout, but I really liked the pop of the 
the pink and yellow in the camera so I'm gonna go ahead and add those colors in elsewhere so I'm using this paper that looks that has the pink crane on it and it just looks kind of tropical and I, I like the way it looks with my photos so I'm gonna do that I will move that camera around several times because I'm not sure where I want it to end up but uh, I'm just kind of playing around here so now I'm looking through my uh, my six by six paper pad to look for other things that I might be able to cut out to use as embellishment because now that I have the camera and the um, crane paper I feel like I need another pop of pink so I'm looking for that but as I'm looking through I find this uh, paper with the sailboats on it and it matches the color of the Bon Voyage and I knew I wanted to repeat colors because I like to have a nice uh, visual weight balance on my layouts so um, you'll see darker or you'll see all the colors more than once um, and that just helps it feel like they belong together like they're meant to go together so here I'm just looking through a million different stickers and different things trying to find what I can put on uh, I want to embellish a little bit on these but not a lot so in that center long one I was looking through the Paige Evans little sticker book the uh, well, it's a big sticker book from American Crafts, and I found this little, it's supposed to be for a planner, I think, that's that size of a rectangle, but it fit perfectly behind the frame, and it had the yellow and the pink in it, so I liked the way that it added to the layout with the pink. And I'm just searching through here for some more stickers. These are great for adding finishing touches to your layouts. I really, really love them. So I picked out two check marks because I was trying to decide how I was going to point out the dolphins. They're really small in the photos. And um, so I was thinking maybe I would circle them or put an arrow pointing to them. But I put the check marks because when I was taking the photos, uh, I was having a really hard time catching them. Like I'd take a million photos and they wouldn't be in any of them. And so I just kept taking them and so it's kind of like check mark I finally I finally got one on film so I like that and I'm thinking of writing in blue or blue on the blue photos with my white pen here from uh, Sakura it's a jelly roll pen and they come in three sizes now which I love and so I'm writing on the photos where I didn't catch the dolphin I'm writing things on them so the bottom one just says no and the top one says um, you missed it or still missed it or something like that so I'm gonna go ahead and get these frames tidied up and make sure that the things are glued to the back of them. I'm still moving that camera around. I'm not exactly sure where it's going at the moment. And, but I'll, I always say this, but when I don't know where I want something or I don't know what to do next, I just kind of do the things I do know. So right now I know that I'm gonna back these particular uh, frames with those patterns so I'm just going to go ahead and take care of that and while I'm doing that I'm just thinking like what can I do here what where will this go uh, what other colors do I need to bring in I put this the one with the sticker I put it on wax paper because I didn't want the sticker to stick yet I wasn't ready for that and then I just I but then I took it off and I just lightly placed it on the layout so it's not completely stuck there and now I'm just playing around with some stuff I'm trying to find something else that I can bring in the color with and I go ahead and add the check marks because that's gonna add a little bit more yellow and now I'm trying to decide what do I what uh, what else do I need to add so I'm thinking I have yellow all in the top I need to add a little bit of yellow to the bottom so I add that little uh, kind of word sticker that says sunshine and now I'm looking for another sort of word sticker or some other embellishment I can use around the layout and I I also want to work on the title so I thought I would use some little block letters but that wasn't working for me and so I pulled out these ones from the new pick me up collection in white and I'm gonna spell out the word dolphins and I thought I could um, just write above and below the word and then have the word be like the main focus and then I decided like it was maybe a little bit too white on white so I pulled out my Copic markers and I thought I would try to color them like a light blue and I really liked the way that it looked so I just went through and colored the white stick or the white yeah foam thickers and I love white because it is alterable like that especially if you have like a permanent marker you can use sharpies on on those as well uh, but I really like this blue color that I got from my Copic marker so I'm going to go ahead with that and I'm going to write um, there are dolphins I promise something like that 
and I'm thinking about using a gray pen, but then I don't like the gray really with the gold, although I'm not opposed to gray and gold. I wear gray and gold, but I don't know. For some reason, I wasn't liking it here, and so I'll just end up writing it with a black pen in a minute, but I'm still thinking about that and playing around with some stuff. I, I was thinking of putting some, like, a sailboat on that on that little um, piece in the middle. I kind of want something to go with every little um, square or frame that's on there. And so I'm just still thinking what else I can add. I want to add a few more things because I have decided to put the camera on that photo at the top right and it's sticking out, but there's nothing sticking out on the left hand side of the layout. So I'm thinking about that as well. Um, I wrote, I went ahead and wrote the title down and now I'm writing my journaling on this other longer piece. And I thought that those worked really great for um, doing this, this particular technique or just it, that I think it looks um, good to have those ones solid instead of putting a piece of paper behind them and uh, for the journaling and the title because it's easier to read a but it's just easier to do also. So now I'm going to, I decided I want to back all of these with uh, foam so that they pop up. And it, at first I thought I would only do a few, but I will decide to do all of them. So I'm looking on my phone, I think for the date or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm using foam, this cheap fun foam that I got from Walmart. You can get it at Hobby Lobby and Michaels too, I think. Um, and you can get it on Amazon. I'll make sure to link to a place where you can get it online. And, uh, it's sticky backed. I like the sticky back because then I only have to glue one side of it, not both. So, uh, but you can get the foam without any sticky on it and uh, use it that way. So I'm just cutting up my foam and putting it on the backs of all of the frames because I really like the way they look popped up. Now that little heart, um, I think I found that in the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the Confetti Wishes card kit it comes with a bunch of chipboard pieces and that is where that little heart came from i'm pretty sure and i i like the heart on there because it adds a little blue to that particular frame and it didn't have any blue on it so i like that so now i'm going to stamp the date above the heart and i'm going to use some black ink and i put foam under there already and i wasn't sure it would stamp nicely but it ended up working fine and now i'm just going to mess around with the camera again but I like it where it was and you can see now that I put a little puffy sticker that says magical on the photo on the left in the middle and that kind of helps me balance uh, the way the camera is pointing or hanging off the side so I like to repeat things like that and you can see at the bottom I made the yellow piece hang off the side too but I think I might switch that back I can't remember anyway I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I wanted some hearts and there were some heart stickers in that little flip sticker book and I used some of them, but then I wanted a specific color and it wasn't a heart. And so I just ended up punching it out. So I put it on some paper and I punched it out. So now I, after all of that work, I took a photo of where the placement was and I'm going to place this piece of paper on another piece of paper because it's pretty warped and I just want it to have a nice, uh, like I want it to lay a little bit more flat and have a nice border around it. So I'm just cutting like I think three eighths of an inch off each side. And I'm just going to mount it white on white. And I really like that look. Um, I'm going back to look at how I'm going to lay out the, the papers. And I thought that I would put on the or not the papers, the frames. I thought I'd put the frames on first, but then I was I decided I was going to stitch around the edges of the background paper. And so I decided to wait. So I'm just putting some half inch wide um, double-sided tape here. This is from ThermoWeb. Just placing it all across the back and then I'll rip off the, the little backing pieces, which I think is fun. <laughs> Some people hate doing that, but I like it. And then I'll go ahead and stick it down. And you'll notice when I stick it down that I start from the bottom and I, met, I get everything ready and then I kind of hold it on the left while I'm pushing uh, on the right. Sorry for my humongous sweatshirt. That sweatshirt is so comfy. And I was wanting to feel comfy that day. So I have my sewing machine on my desk and I just pulled it over to me to where I could reach it. And that's what I'm doing right now is just sewing a simple stitch in white thread around the entire square of that um, paper that I did the mixed media on. And then I think I um, will rough it up a little bit. I really like that look when it's sewed close to the edge and then you can just take your finger across it and kind of just rough it up a little. 
So now I'm thinking I want to do some stitching also on some of the other things. So you can't see me doing it right now, and I'm sorry that I just am off the screen here, but what I'm going to do, oh, I forgot, I, the thread ran out, so I had to um, put more in, and then uh, I'm just taping off the back, or I'm taping off the strings on the back. Man, my my brain is not here today. And uh, now I am ready to keep going. So here I'm ruffling up the edges with my fingernail, and I'm kind of trying to pull some up and make some rips and tears in there. It just helps give that dimension, and then you can really tell that it's white on white and not just one solid piece, which I like. So I'm referencing the photo that I created, and or the photo that I created, the photo that I took of this layout, just so I know where I'm going to put things. Now, I thought I stitched on a bunch of these pieces. I think I did. I just can't see it. Yeah. So I stitched down that chipboard heart, and I stitched down some other stuff. I don't know. Oh, the camera, and something else. I'm sure there were three things, at least. Anyway. <laughs> My brain, I'm telling you, it's gone. So now I'm looking for something. Um, I want to put more pink hearts around. So I have those two. One's kind of a uh, purpley pink and one's kind of a coral color. And so I'm looking for more because I want to put some down at the bottom and some to the right of the layout. And so I'm just seeing what I can find in this little sticker book. And that purple or the pink, I can't remember which one, the pink or the coral but it wasn't the same color as the ones at the top and for some reason that was really bothering me so what I did was I just put a sticker onto a piece of paper and then punched it with my tiny little heart border punch from uh, uh, Stampin Up yep <laughs> and now I'm gonna play around with where I want to put these little hearts so that one that I just grabbed uh, I'm stitching through the heart at the bottom because um, I stitched through the heart on the top one that's next to the word dolphins. And you'll see that in the close-up photos. It's hard to see right now on camera. Anyway, that already had foam on it, so I just put the foam through the machine, but that wasn't the smartest idea. I just didn't know I was going to put it there until, you know, it was too late. So it works, whatever. Now I'm going to put two more hearts, and I'm going to struggle and <laughs> agonize over um, finding the right colors. And I'm going to look through a bunch of stuff. So I'm just flipping through the sticker book again. I just will say this again, but this is like the perfect finishing touch. And there's so many stickers in there that you can usually you can find stuff that will go with whatever you're creating. So I really love these sticker books. I have a bunch of them. Um, so obviously this is the Paige Evans one. Paige Evans one, and it's turn the page. Uh, her collection turn the page that it mostly uh, coordinates with. So here I found some more of the colors and I'm just putting them on some paper and I'm going to punch them out and I have that little kind of purpley pink heart and I'm going to struggle to find that coral color again. So I'm just flipping through, I'll flip through several times and then I'm just, I'm not finding it, I'm not finding it, I'm not finding it and I'm just having a major struggle. I don't know what my problem was, but I just, I was being very particular and I'm not always like that, but in this case I was. So sometimes it takes me to nap an hour not an hour but it takes me forever to find one simple sticker and then other times everything just comes together so quickly but this for the this layout for the most part did come together like it was easy to put together maybe it didn't come together quickly but it was easy and um see i'm still looking through the stickers to find something because i'm like these aren't working i needed something different so i am trying to do that and i'm looking everywhere for that color and I found it I think on this little uh, hexagon paper and so I'm just I placed a different sticker on it and I'm uh, cutting around the sticker and then I'll pull the sticker off and there is the color that I wanted and oh nope it's not so I'm looking again for the color anyway that's gonna finish my layout after <laughs> I get those on there. I hope that you have enjoyed this. And I think I do some cold, gold color shine. Yep, I couldn't couldn't resist it. Um, what kind of things do you guys like to fussy cut? I love florals mostly, but these frames were really fun. And I like fussy cutting little embellishments as well. So here you can see the stitching details. I hope that you will go check out this uh, layout over on the Pink Paisley blog. And I'll leave a video or a link in the video description. Thanks so much for joining me and have a nice day.